Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a node to an existing cluster. In this demo, I'll be giving you overview of new node that I have just prepared to add to an existing cluster. Number two, we'll be looking at various options while adding the node to an existing cluster. Uh, keep in mind that I have a note right here. Please watch my video. I have put together a separate video, how to prepare a node to install SQL Server in clustering mode. That has much more detail, step by step, all the Windows features that's required, all the uh, SQL Server uh, prerequisites that, that require to have SQL Server installed in clustering mode. So let's take an overview of the node that I just prepared to be added in cluster. Right now I have a two node cluster and it has TBS node 1, TBS node 2 and this is TBS node 3 I just prepared to be added in existing cluster. So let's take a look. I just wanted to walk you quickly uh, through the features that I have installed. Right here is application feature. I just uh, wanted to go ahead and install uh, MSDTC services um, in clustering mode. That's why I added this feature and you do need to uh, basically go ahead and add that to DTC services if you wanted to um, install DTC role in an existing cluster. If you're installing for SQL Server 2008 and above, it's optional. You don't need to. But uh, in case if you do want to install MS DTC services, you need to add this role in every uh, node that you're preparing for SQL Server. Other big, big thing right here is .NET Framework 3.5 features. Um, please don't let it fool you that if you have .NET Framework 4.0, you might think that uh, this probably contains uh, .NET Framework 3.5, but that's not the case. You have to separately install .NET Framework 3.5 right here. So that is pretty big. Without that, your SQL Server installation will fail. So next, failover clustering um, features right here that's mandatory without that your validation of your cluster will fail so these are a few big things that uh, I wanted to mention that uh, when you prepare a node to be added in um, existing cluster you make sure that these features Windows features are installed correctly and there are other things uh, such as uh, shared disk and all that in this demo I'm just going to show you how to add a node to an existing cluster and some of the uh, big features but I don't have any shared disk attached to this uh, node because I just wanted to show you if you wanted to know how to add uh, shared disk and all that please watch my video as I put that in um, in, in the beginning the reference uh, that has all the detail so let's go ahead and use um, failover cluster manager and we will go ahead and um, you can use failover cluster manager on any of the node that is already attached uh, already uh, added to the to an existing uh, cluster so keep in mind that we're going to go ahead and add TBS node 3 to an to our existing cluster so let's go ahead and go to node 1 and here is my failover cluster manager as you can see right now I have two nodes TBS node 1, TBS node 2. And I have roles right here already installed, uh, two SQL Server instances, SQL prod, SQL UAT, and I have TBS MS DTC role already installed. These two um, instances of SQL Server has the disks already, but as I said that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, as I said that um, this the dem in this demo will be just adding a node to an existing cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and you can click on um, basically nodes and click on add node there are various options on failover cluster manager that you can go ahead and add a resource such as a node so I'm going to go ahead and click on nodes and click on add node right here you can also right click and click on add node so let's go ahead and click on add node this will open up a wizard adding a node wizard so click next and right here you need to put the server name or the node name so I'm going to go ahead and add this TBS node 3 and when you click add basically it checks the communication too if it cannot communicate this node right here TBS node if it can't communicate with node 3 it's going to give you error that it cannot find this server so let's go ahead and click on add as you can see that it has uh, already gotten uh, my domain name right here that means there is a communication with this node so click next this is very important 
whenever you add any resource I would recommend you to go ahead and run the validation of the cluster uh, that will make sure that uh, your cluster is in good shape and this will not break anything adding a new resource in this demo uh, new resource is node so I would recommend that go ahead and click yes uh, unless you have already ran the validation then you can um, basically click on no and uh, go ahead and add the node adding node is not an issue basically uh, but um, uh, configuration is is uh, something that you need to pay attention it should the configuration report shouldn't show any error or uh, critical warnings so um, if I click on yes it's gonna take a little bit time to run the validation so I'm gonna go ahead and leave yes because I, I haven't run the validation uh, on this node so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and click next click next it's asking right here that run all the test what I want is run just the system test because I don't have the disk attached to this uh, particular node but if you do have uh, the uh, shared disk please go ahead and run all the tests that's recommended and I would recommend you that if you're adding a node to your production you need to run all all the tests right here click next all I wanted to make sure is basically I don't want storage system configuration I do want network inventory I don't want cluster configuration is what I basically want at this moment because I don't have storage it's gonna give me errors and all that but uh, um, I just wanna make sure that the cluster configuration is what I am looking for at this moment um, let me check system configuration system configuration is what I want and network also because um, I have added the network private and external so let's go ahead and run these tests click next and click next it'll start running the tests um, it, it's gonna take probably for me uh, about um, five to ten minutes and I'll pause the video as soon as the validation is completed I'll be back do have uh, some concerns right here as you can see the bid a uh, big uh, red X right here so you might want to go ahead and view the report right now and see that uh, where are the issues you can always come back and look at this report later on but uh, let's take a look these are the warnings right here cluster configuration warning let's see what uh, it says validate resource status first is validating cluster resource SQL Server prod and UAT because I have configured them to run on separate so um, in your production you don't want uh, basically these warnings so please take care of these warnings and go through these warnings this is important before you add um, anything in your cluster so that's why we ran the wizard and uh, just to take a look that uh, what is going on if this uh, adding node will not uh, create any issue to our existing cluster so multiple subnets I do have multiple subnets TBS cluster is set to one for current configuration this value should be zero so up here the, the network name TBS cluster is set to one so it's just a warning so you need to take care of that our big thing is um, I just wanted to show you that if you run the validation report you will see some of the um, errors and some of the warnings and these are some of these warnings are critical and uh, need to be taken care of before you can add the cluster so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and uh, click on <coughs> right here no because right now it gave us uh, again that uh, you might have gone ahead and taken care of those warnings and um, and and then you can run the um, up here the test again when I click run configuration uh, validate test and then return to the process of adding node so I'm gonna go ahead and click no click next and this is the eligible node right now TBS node 3 this is what we wanted to add in our existing cluster click next now it is in the process of adding node to our existing cluster as you can see the adding node is completed let's click finish 
and our node is right in the cluster right here node 3 right now it doesn't have any resources if you click on network these it has two network connections right here if you wanted to take a look it has 192.168.2.3 this is the private network and uh, this is external uh, this has communication between the cluster and your organizational network so these are the IP addresses roles it doesn't have any role right now it doesn't have any disk right now so you don't see much here but as I said that in this demo I just wanted to show you that how to add node in an existing cluster and that's what we did and I hope this demo helps